Some of the highlights early on. Celine Boutier, this was her second to the opening hole. You think Celine uh, Boutier too far back at this stage, but was trying to make amends and trying to work off that backboard. She would roll that putt in on the opening hole to move to five. Um one hole today, and this is for another one at the second. What a great start, gets to six under par. Three on Sunday at the Honda LPGA Thailand. She's already birdied one and two at this stage at the third. All the way of under par. And in fact, Ayaka foot away. In between then, with the bright yellow skirt, we've been accustomed to seeing that throughout this Asian swing. We've also been accustomed to seeing her hit it close. It's been a good start to the season for foot away. That was her second into the opening hole. Second. Been a good week for Gabby. Didn't play the last two weeks in Asia. Long flight over here from California. And an excellent approach into the second hole, which would lead to a birdie to get to six. Exactly that, or trying to at least. This is how it started for Esther Henselite. Is the 26-year-old from Switzerland, Alban Valenzuela. Her second to the fifth. Started with three birdies. Needed a good start to get close to the top of the leaderboard. And how about that? Holding out from... Well, fantastically well, and so too is Savannah Gruel. Course record, eight under par 64 yesterday, which included a double bogey. Very accessible flag there at the opening hole, taking full advantage, would make a birdie to get to... Kicked her day off the pin, a bit of a sitting duck at the first five on. Just eight off the right. There's a slope to use, if you don't mind. And so she did. Back down it came. And then for Ruxin Liu, listen to the crowd. This was a birdie attempt at the opening hole. The par. And Sarah Schmelzel, opening hole, second shot. And they are just throwing darts here at one. Another one from Schmelzel would lead to an opening birdie to take the lead at 13 under. Drop shot at one for Steph Meadow. But put herself in this really nice spot to the back flag at two. And good week last week. Sarah Schmelt saw tied for eighth top ten at HSBC Women's World Championship and has her chances very much alive today. This was Schmelt saw at the second hole and have a look at the contour of this green. Sloping from back to front and playing it like a member. Just punching that in low to the right-hand side of the green. That's going to depend on the breaks she gets. I actually don't think... To the flag. Oh. And she's coming across that bridge, so... Sorry, I was looking at Tardy's. Yes. Yeah. And then it goes. Well, Co will not go away easily, that's for sure. It's a birdie. Masaigo. A lot of fans be following her progress very carefully today. But uh, not the best start for the Chinese, uh, Japanese player. One over, but looking to get a birdie there at seven. Great tee shot. Another who's making her first more than others. This one certainly does. <laughs> and that goes for Mal Saigo, who gets to minus five. Her first of the day. Five-time winner. Makeable for Gruel. Oh. <laughs> well, how about that? Hold out. Maybe fourth a couple of moments ago, Sarah Schmelzel and her third trying to conjure something up from about 50 yards short left. How good is that? My word. You could take a bow after that. That's amazing. That's a rare miss, a rare error from the batter of Lydia K. Waterfall. That could be. I mean, that way. Resides in the top ten, it seems, week in, week out. A couple of fourth places to start the year. Top ten again last week. She's currently in a share of seventh with a putt to move in the top. Food away. Yeah, and actually, the sixth hole's just moved to the hardest hole on the golf course. That wasn't hard. For Ayaka, foot away. It's been a very poor start for Yu Liu, but she gets one of three drop shots back there. 
good flag here at seven for Minji Lee. 30 at one, bogey at two. All oh, pars oh, since, and an excellent oh, chance to get to double figures under par there. Oh, that's an exciting... That unique oh. swing, Ewan. She was looking at the billboard on a backswing oh. then, and it worked. Oh, this is fun for food away in that bunker. There's really grainy sand. Oh. Oh. Up ahead to the green. Now, Rushin Liu, this to get back to 10 under par. Nice yeah. Oh, look at that. She's got the fist pump. Go. You can hear the shouts of go. go. It's going a little. Oh, oh look at oh, that. Oh. It's got to stop. Going Looks like it's held up. No? Yeah, it should oh. stop somewhere around the back edge. What a beautiful shot, though. It was. With the breeze behind, just to the left of the flag, maybe able to use the slope. Oh, hasn't made it up. Height, five foot tall. Just on 104, Lydia. Good looking shot. Not much room to work with. Yeah, that's a pretty good result. She doesn't need the green. Is all up hill as well. Yeah, just landed that. Oh, look at the check on that. That's a little bit unlucky. She's got beautiful technique with her chipping, Sarah. Oh, this is long range part. Birdie part four, Bailey Tardy downhill all the way. Once it gets the hole, it'll start moving a lot left to right. You're kidding me. That is an eagle. She's missed a couple of putts to the right today. Could they be the difference come days? Oh, brilliant. It's a classy up and down for the 29-year-old. This is an awkward approach into nine for Savannah Gruel. Flag on the right, breeze off the right, ball above her feet, everything going against her, and she has hit the shot of the day at this par four. Excellent their way, looking at the yardage books, seeing where the pins were. Rushin Lu, she would love to emulate Savannah Gruel's result. Oh, she hits a really nice shot straight over the flag. That's make we'll start from Schmelzel, three birdies on the bounce. What can Minji Lee do here at nine? Oh, she landed that just perfectly into the ridge. And I didn't think we'd see it. Up ahead for a birdie to increase the total. She's putting back up towards it here. Okay. It's for three in a row. Is oh, that left-handed? Yeah, no problem for the Australian. So... And the easiest of parts, one of the youngest competitors, the 22-year-old Canadian. So that... After a great save at the last. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely sensational. Majestic. That's pretty much every week is Xiu Lin, Janet Lin. That's a birdie at the par three seventh. Just going to be an easy 50 degree wedge here, and that is looking good. It's not going to be far away. You don't want to see it, and such an advantage. No problems for Tardy. Eagle birdie out in 33. The leader by one. Taking dead aim here, Minji Lee. Is it the club? Oh, it Drop certainly it. is. Very nearly perfect. That'll do. Yeah, so this is a real, this is a really good looking shot. It is right on the money. Oh, it really was, Sandy. All over it. What will happen? Because this is a big opportunity now for Tardy. And in it goes. Maybe a 7.5 as we go to 14. Third on the way for Hurjin Choi to that back flag at the par five. Oh! Dazzles. At 1.30, it's only a wedge for Bailey Tardy. Good looking one, too. Oh, her iron play has been exceptional, and you've just seen for the third. 
Well, it's terrific from Tardy, and she continues to put her best foot forward. Back-to-back -back birdies for the... Not with swings like that. Very patient before that eagle at eight, which just launched her to the top. Lou there. I have grown accustomed to saying I have a foot away for birdie. We should just record it at the beginning of the round because of that huge wide bunker, that pin on 13, all the way back today, 23 paces on. Punching this in, isn't she? Ali. Oh, wow. Great. This was to get to within three. Performance. It's not looking like a Lydia Ko day today, though. High ball fight into the breeze, so it's not going to travel as far as the others. She's not going to get the run. I wonder how many times today we're going to talk about them. Lydia Ko 145. This is with an eight iron. It's directly at it. It's the right club. Just about one hopped it in there. It's a 9-9 for Schmelzel, just getting this going a little further left of the flag than she'd like. It's actually not a bad flag with a wood in hand. Landed in the front part of the green, release oh, it up, and she's miss hit that. Ball's laying really well. 123, and this is all over it. Another good iron. Look at this. Oh, how good has she been? with iron in hand today. Birdie part to come for Schmelzel. And Jeannie looking to get close on 14. Come on, it's going to run down that slope. Will it work? Can it feed towards the hole? Oh, yes, it can. I think uh, enthusiastic is an understatement. Oh, come on, Lydia Co. Has other things to say about that. This for Birdie. Brilliant Bailey. Three birdies on the trot. Daylight now between her and the. She can afford to be 10, 12 feet short of the flag here, and it should release down a little bit. Uh, she just throw it, flies it all the way. The crowd love it. Which it does. At 16, her gin surely catches the right edge. Tiny area at the back. Line's good, all going to depend what it does at the bottom. Brilliant shot, Sandy. And here's Lydia Ko at 14. Got plenty of room here, just got to get it to run down. And gee, she had some spin on that ball to get it to check going. Oh. Solid that time around back to back birdies for Lydia Coat. Let the golf do the talking, that's what Ayaka Footaway has done brilliantly oh. today. <laughs> it's another putt. In it goes for Footaway. Win this. And win this with some pressure from behind. Final birdie for Gabby Lopez. Gentle breeze behind her. She's got plenty on it. And it needs to... Yeah, that'll do. That's a great play, Sandy. Had to just get it over the ridge. Her iron play has been... And that's got plenty on it. Oh, no, get going. Might not have had plenty on it. That's a big mistake from Lydia. It'll be interesting to see if she'll take the putter out or a wedge, as we saw Min. Plenty of air on that ball. Oh, caught the top of the ridge, but looks okay. The last three to have a chance. Oh, sure. 
Looks interesting. It should be. Stay. Took it on. And that's what's down that ridge right to left. Oh, get going. Oh, I don't think there's any way of stopping this. If it, unless it hits. Oh. Except the hole. Oh. It's not there. It's not. That was not a, a putt that was made with any real conviction. And you saw Tardy move in quickly to have a read of that. A little bit to her right. is dominating this championship, showing her class in blue for Lydia. Second at 18 for Foodaway. She found the penalty area with the second shot here on Friday. Not today, though. Oh, Just fine. Little clock trying to set the mark at 15 under par. She's coming home strong, Ayaka Foodaway. Off the back of two birdies. Down in that little bowl. Might get a little help off the back edge of it. You wouldn't put a pass there, rolling it in. Oh, Say Young, a winner here in 2015. Oh, no. Wind blowing strongly into her face. Oh, and that is high in the air. The wind's going to get it. It's not going to be very far down. She's going to have a much longer shot than normal into the seven. Yeah, that's good, solid contact for Lydia, and that's just splitting the centre of the fairway. That almost looked like Laura Davies' uh, turf tee. It was so <laughs> small. Keeping this putter head low to the ground for Savannah Gruel. What a week. Yeah. Equal second. So, last of these players. She's taken the driver out, and that is just down right centre. It's going to be a good position, good angle. Well, Sarah Schmelzel can take a measure of pride in how well she's performed yeah. over the last shut club face. That's why she comes through so rapidly with the body oh. to square it up. Up oh. ahead of the green, it's a final four for Meadow. Wayne, too. She's taking it on. Back to 17, Tardy. Just a, over 100 yards, straight over the top of the trees. Or oh, <laughs> when you land on the back, why don't you just spin it back down the front where the pin is when you've got it on a string? The Canadian from the middle of the fairway on 18. Oh, oh, goodness. That is a left. Six is in her last eight events now, this will be. Including the Grant Thornton. Ball on the way for Gruel. Oh. To rate the field here at Blue Bay. Wow, how good she's been. Five birdies on the back nine. The margin is now five. And has just been supreme. Wind is behind her coming out of the chute. Going to try and take off some of this corner. It's coming right across. Going to find a safe spot on that left hand side. No problem. It's a big driving area. 18. Just off the fringe is Gruel. Par <laughs> putt after finding the water with a second. It's an excellent try. Young 22 year old from Ontario, Canada. 100 and get it down there to where they can wedge it in. Low hunting ball flight. Good camera work there down the right side. That'll be a nice angle. Similar thing for Lydia. She's taking a little more of the tiger line. She is going down the left-hand side. Tail breeze behind them. Gives herself not as much room for this wedge in. Tardy now just getting it down to where she can put herself in a great position. but uh, And she's done that. And how much is she just going to love? Need to create a bit of spin on this. It is high in the air. The line looks good. As long as it doesn't hit that down slope. Well done. Good shot. So you're saying there's a chance down the tail breeze. Just bringing that in lower. Oh, beautifully played. Well, deep breaths been so impressive also from a hundred yards and that's just going to be thereabouts all she need to do <laughs> well pj hall of fame's gonna have to wait but it was good back nine nonetheless for lydia coe oh and she does 
deep to do it as well. The up and down at 17, the birdie down the last. She's got outright second place all on her own. Sarah Schmelzel. The win will come. It's for it. And it's Bailey's breakthrough at Blue Bay. It's all going to hit her now.